Dragons were extremely dangerous. Only the exceptionally brave or foolhardy would seek them in their lairs, and there was little chance of returning to tell the tale. Gandalf, Bilbo and the Hobbits scaled the lonely mountain to find the secret door, the entrance to the cave where Smaug the dragon kept his huge hoard of treasure, which long ago he had stolen from the dwarves. Far, far down under the lonely mountain, Smaug, a great winged dragon of the Middle-earth and one of the last of his kind, lay snoring atop an immense heap of astounding treasure. Bilbo Baggins bravely put on the One Ring and, invisible, descended into the dragon's lair. To prove his daring, he took an insignificant cup from the great pile of treasure Although Smaug possessed innumerable riches, he knew every piece, large and small. Enraged at the theft, he chased the hobbit through the tunnels and smashed his way out of the mountain. When the furious Smaug flew out of the lonely mountain, he vented his rage by attacking Lake Town. And here he met his end, pierced by an arrow. Now the treasure was unguarded, and orcs, accompanied by wargs, who were giant wolf-like creatures, marched to seize it. The dwarves called on the help of the elves and humans to defend their ancient birthright. Bjorn was an ancient sorcerer, large, black-haired and powerfully strong, who lived in between the misty mountains and murk wood. He could change his shape into a great bear. <laughs> and on hearing of the orc invasion which threatened his land, he charged into battle, crushing the orc troops, killing Bolg, their leader. Ah! 